Okay guys, before we get started, two important notices. First, the repo address has recently changed. And secondly, there are some issues with the repo itself. Sometimes the zip is not downloading. What I suggest you do is press it and wait. If you've seen nothing after a minute, go ahead and press it again. There are some reports of the repo acting odd and taking up to and more than five times to actually install. Now we'll go ahead and do a live demo and see how that works for me. What we need to do is head to the system tab, move down to the file manager. We need to add the source, so we go ahead and click add source. And as I said, the address has changed. This is the valid address at the moment. If it changes again and you get to this point and it's not working, check the description below and it will have the most recent address in there. So go ahead and drop that in and press done. Cody has this terrible habit of generating a name and trying to be helpful. That is not a memorable name, so go ahead and rename that. Just call it Aries for now and hit done. Press OK. We've now got our new source in there and we can move to the next step. So we press home, go back to system. This time we give it a left click. Go back to the add ons tab and we want to install from a zip file. This is what we just configured, Aries. If you give it a different name, of course, it will match that. So we click it, and this is what we need, the script Aries Wizard 0.030. Now, as I said, there are some issues with it being reported. Perhaps it's been addressed. Go ahead and click it. Wait for the notification. There it is. It is now enabled. Had no issues with that. Now, if this doesn't pop up, just go back in and give it another try. If it's worked, go ahead and press home into the programs tab. And there you have the Aries wizard. So we give that a click, let it load up. And you will get a change log. You just dismiss that. And there you go. It is now loaded up. So if you do have any problems with it not loading up quite quick enough, or you think something's amiss, just go back to the previous step and, you know, just be patient with it. So that's it. If you enjoyed the video and it's been useful and it's working for you, hit that thumbs up button. If you have a problem, drop me a comment. I will try and get back to you. And please hit that subscribe button for more content just like this.